Hey everybody, this has been a video, it's been a long time, time coming, something that I've been wanting to do for a while and it's on a piece of gear that I have been using for quite a while, ever since it first came out uh, and Elgato sent it to me, but I've really kind of hesitated on talking about it, but I think it's time because I've used it enough and I want to talk about probably the best audio solution out there right now for creators that are not wanting to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on audio mixing. And that is the Elgato Stream Deck Plus. So let's talk about it. All right, so listen, I have been using this since it first come out. So it's been out now probably seven or eight months, maybe even longer than that, maybe a year. I mean, I've had it for a long time. Actually, I was supposed to do a review on it. They sent it to me, and I've yet to do a review. There was a lot of them that were out there, and, you know, they all talked about these little knobby things and push buttons and all that, all the stream decky things. And I didn't want to talk about the stream decky things about this. I want to talk about its purpose as an audio controller because it really does a good job. It's what it does, what it does is it gives you access to Wavelink. Okay, so Wavelink, of course, is Elgato's kind of virtual mixing software, software mixer that interfaces with their uh, microphones that they have, their Wave XLR that you can use to mix all of your audio with. Well, up until this came out, you didn't have any way to use Wavelink other than buying one of their microphones, right? And if you already had a microphone and you're really happy with it, then, well, it, you know, you're kind of up the creek because you didn't really have a way to mix unless you were to go out and spend money on, say, the Go XLR or another expensive mixer, especially the last couple of years. Mixers have really increased in prices. They're really expensive. You used to be able to get a reasonable deal on them. Unfortunately, I think they're starting to come back down, but still... This thing right here actually does a really good job because it incorporates the fun and neat features of these knobs here, dials, as they call them, into Wavelink and the Stream Deck integration. And I can literally control every single function of my mixing just on these knobs. I don't even have to use the buttons up here. And that's what I want to talk about. So let's go, I'll show you my setup. And the thing about this is, is you don't have to buy any microphone. You can use whatever you have already. You can use an interface. If you already have an XLR mic and an interface, you can use any USB mic with this and it gives you full access to Wavelink. So let's talk about my setup now. Okay, so let's talk about the Stream Deck Plus setup and how you can use it really easily for your audio. And I really don't pay any attention to these buttons because I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really use these buttons. I've set them up but they're really not even active. They're just kind of sitting there. I could get rid of them. But what we want to pay attention to is we want to pay attention to the strip down here and the knobs here at the bottom. And what I've done is I have gone and I've done what they call a dial stack. So when you have a stream, the Stream Deck Plus, it's going to give you these other options where you can either do keys or dials. Some of the software uh, plugins that you get you know, for Stream Deck integration doesn't have dials, but in the case of Wavelink, it does. So what you want to do is you want to take advantage of using this dial stack. Now the dial stack is really neat because you can press down on this dial and then it will change the function of the dial to whatever you program it. And it does it in layers. So let's go here and I'll click on this. And this is the different uh, inputs that I've added to this dial. Here we go. So in these three different inputs, I have changed the output of these three various inputs. And that's what they do. They control different outputs. So I have one, if I have the dial selected right now, it's actually controlling my monitor mix. If I press it again, and you see it lighter, you see the little blue circle there, now I can control how it goes out to the stream mix. And you'll see it turn down and you'll see my microphone go out and you know go back up i can control it by just by turning the knob left or right it's really nice and i press it again and what that's going to allow me to do is i can see both my monitor mixes at the same time i can see my headphones i can see the stream mix and then i can see what's muted and what isn't another cool thing is the strip the strip is really nice because you can actually use this as a mute function so here i will mute 
right here. I can mute it just by touching it. It's like capacitive. You just touch it and it mutes. Really cool. So those two things there, I can control my mix with. I have another one set up, obviously, for music. You can see, if I go ahead and step back out of the dial stack, I have this one for music that I can, again, go in and look at three inputs, my monitor mix, the stream mix, and then both at the same time. And it shows a nice little display on the strip of the levels of both of those and also their status, whether or not they're muted or they're active. So I've got this set up for all of my main channels here in order, including line in, music, browser, voice chat, and system. And the cool thing about it is, is yes, you show you have four dials, right? But all you need to do is you need to take and you slide the, your finger across the strip from left to right or right to left and it'll page over. So then you can set up all of your different your channel strips inside a wavelength and you can correspond them with your dials and use that uh, the scroll strip there to scroll right and left. And this is how you scroll through all of your pages. So I use the Stream Deck not only to control my audio, but if I need to adjust my lights, I have my lights here that I can go and I can control the temperature. Just by pressing these dials, I can control the temperature, I can control the brightness of each of my three different key lights. And they're really neat. And you can also turn them on or off. So it's, it's, it's a really neat thing that you can do with Stream Deck Plus. But I mean, I'm telling you, audio controller, this thing is brilliant. Oh yeah, also I use it for voice mod. You can just add page after page after page to this thing and you can use it. But the dials are a big deal because it really does turn this thing into a very good audio controller. Now, why is this so good? Well, let me talk about Wavelink because Wavelink is a brilliant piece of software. It basically gives you three outputs. You get your monitor mix that goes out to whatever headphone or audio interface you want to use. You get your stream mix, which you set as your stream output to go into OBS, and it'll mix all these channels together based on the levels that you set inside of Wavelink. The biggest thing that is brilliant about Wavelink is the fact that it has full VST support. So you can go in and you can bring in VSTs to any of these channels by clicking on this little box and then going in and adding VSTs to your channels, including Elgato's own VSTs, which Elgato EQ that they have in their noise removal are both brilliant. Uh, so you have those there that's really nice to use. I really like Wavelink a lot. And I think that combined with the Stream Deck Plus, it is, in my opinion, the best option for streamers right now that are not willing to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a piece of gear that's going to give you audio control, especially if you're using a USB mic and you already have one that you're perfectly happy with. There's no reason to, you know, not go. And if you're going to get a Stream Deck anyway, you might as well just get the Stream Deck Plus. Stretch it out a little more, pay the extra 50 bucks or whatever it is now for the Stream Deck Plus, and that will give you a fully fledged audio controller that really works well. And Wavelink is brilliant. You have the plug-in store where you can go in and you can go into Marketplace and you can that you can download all these different plugins for Stream Deck right here, built into Wavelink, built into the Stream Deck. It's really a nice thing to, to have. And I think Elgato has really knocked it out of the park with the Stream Deck Plus, to be honest with you. I really like it a lot. And if you're already digging what Stream Deck can do and you want to get another one, I just don't see why you would not buy the Stream Deck Plus because I'm going to tell you, the dials really are revolutionary. And the way that they integrate them with dial stacking, with Wavelink, it makes your audio control so easy. So anyway, guys, that's just what I wanted to talk about. That's really it. I've really enjoyed using Stream Deck Plus, and it is my audio controller right now because I like the flexibility it gives me because I can use any mic I want. And I'm not locked to a particular ecosystem per se. I can use my Bayano PD400X, or if I want to plug in one of my XLR microphones into my Scarlett Focusrite or my Scarlett 2i2, I can plug them in and use them inside a wavelength okay where well, you know a year ago you couldn't do that because you had to use one of elgato's microphones to be able to use wavelength 
I really, really like Wavelength a lot. And this is kind of a step you know, forward on being able to access Wavelength to the masses because you know, before you were locked on the microphone and this was one of the critiques I had. I, was, I really asked Elgato, I said, listen Elgato, you really need to figure out a way that you can take Wavelength and use it with any microphone, any, you know, setup. You could maybe, you know, do a subscription to Wavelink by itself. So this is not quite there, but it's a step forward with being able to use Stream Deck Plus. And most people want to buy Stream Deck anyway. If you're streaming and making content, might as well just get Stream Deck Plus and then you get the audio controller with it, which is really nice. And it keeps you from having to go get a Go XLR and, you know, or any other fancy mixer out there that's, uh, you know, geared towards streaming when you can get all that functionality right here inside of Stream Deck. And I think it's easier to use. So it's a lot more intuitive for people that don't understand audio mixing and how audio routing works to just use Wavelength. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a quick one. But uh, again, Elgato, thank you for sending me to Stream Deck Plus. I, you know, I know I'm kind of late on things, but it really, y'all really knocked it out of the park with Stream Deck Plus. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it has been my audio controller now for, I don't know, seven or eight months. So anyway, thank you everybody for hanging out. I appreciate it. Y'all be good. We'll see you later.